So here we have a question that was asked from November 2016, variant four, sorry, variant one of paper four. And it's actually question number four, which is to do with graph functions. Okay, so it's question number four. So it's part three of the Okay, so I'm going to answer that question now. This is question four of that particular paper. And it's part three of the question. Now, this is a very common question that comes up. And it's actually quite simple um, to deal with. Many students get confused by it, but it's telling us that there's an equation to 1 minus 2 over x squared equals minus x minus 1. Okay, it can be written in the form x cubed plus x squared plus q equals 0. So x squared plus something x squared plus something equals 0. So you have to basically convert the equation from this form into that form. Now, in order to do this, you just have to ask yourself a you know, simple question. What is, what is about what you have to convert it to? What is special about that as compared to what you're starting with? Okay, and if you think about it very carefully, uh, you'll see that there's no denominators, there's no fractions in what we have to specify. So that obviously means that we'll have to get rid of Okay, the denominator. So if we look at the denominator, we've got 1, x squared, 1. The LCM of the denominators is equal to x squared. So if we multiply both sides of the equation by x squared, that should help us to get close to what we want to do. Okay, that should help us progress. So if I multiply both sides by x squared, on this side I have x squared, Minus, or the x squared times 2 over x squared, x squared cancels out with 2. And then we have x squared times minus x, which is minus x cubed. And x squared times minus 1, which is minus x squared. So now we see we've got something which is kind of, you know, similar to this in the sense that you have no fractions. Um, and you've got x cubed and x squared and number terms. So now let's just write it so everything is on the left side of the equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add x cubed and add x squared to both sides of the equation. So I'll be left with 0 on this side. So add x cubed on this side, add x squared on this side, then we'll be left, left with nothing on this side. But we have to also add x cubed to this side. So there's no x cubed right now, so we have an x cubed. If you add an x squared to this side, you're going to have 2 x squared. And you've got the minus 2 that's there already. And we can see what we've written now, x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2 equals 0. In this form, we've got x cubed plus something x squared plus a constant equals 0. So if you just compare the coefficients of the x squared, the p and the 2 must be the same. The q and the negative 2 must be the same. And there we have our solution to this problem.